Hi, this is a quick DIY video on how I change the coolant on my KTM 300. So since I bought this bike, I've not done a coolant change and I was under the impression that it was red coolant that went into the bike. I don't know why I thought that, but I just thought it was red. And recently when I checked, there was no coolant in it and I topped it up with some red coolant that I had. But when the coolant level rose up to a level where I could see it, I noticed that it was actually green coolant that was in it. We can't mix coolant. So what I'm going to do is essentially flush out all the old coolant, wash it with distilled water and put in some new coolant. So when deciding on which coolant to use, I wasn't too sure. So I went to the trusty Facebook groups and a lot of them recommended Engine Ice. So I got myself a bottle of Engine Ice, which is 1.8 liters. And apparently you need only 1.2 for the entire cooling system on a KTM. So I'll probably have a bit left over, which I could use for my next coolant change. So let's start the flush. And the first step is to take out the old coolant. So I'm going to start with taking off the drain bolt for the coolant. So clearly as you see there's a mix of red and green coolant here so right now as you see the coolant is dribbling little by little so to make it faster what i'm going to do is undo the radiator cap which will let fresh air in and will let the coolant flow out faster So one thing when doing a coolant change is to make sure that the coolant drains out of both radiators. In the case of the KTM, both the left and right radiators sit in parallel. So essentially there's a connection between the tops of the radiators and the bottoms of the radiators. So which means the water level is going to come down gradually at the same time on both sides. So which means right now both radiators are empty and uh, I can go on to the next step. So I'll finger tighten the drain bolt while I fill the cooling system with distilled water. So I filled it up with distilled water and now I'm going to drain out the distilled water and hopefully whatever leftover coolant will come out with it. That took me by surprise. So I have now flushed it out to an extent where all the cool distilled water that comes out of it is white. It, there's no coolant mix in it, there's no shade of green, there's no shade of red, uh, which means it's safe enough to put in the new coolant. So I'm going to seal off this bolt and top it up. I don't want to waste my precious engine ice, so I'm going to use a funnel to top it up. So by the looks of it, I've probably used about 1.2 liters, which could be a right, and I see coolant at the top of the radiator. So I'm going to close the cap, start the bike and run it a bit and then check the coolant level again. It might just need a quick top up afterwards. So that's the end to end process of doing a full coolant change on a KTM 300. So this was the first time I did it and it was a learning experience. So I'm open to all the suggestions, feedback and comments you have. So don't forget to mention it down in the comment section. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you next time.